హీనమైన పరిస్థితిలో కూడా నీ ధర్మం నువ్వు చేస్తే తప్పనిసరిగా గాలి మొత్తం నీకు అనుకూలంగా మారిపోతుంది 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 మన ధర్మం మనకి ఇది అవుతుందా కాదా So now quickly I want every one of you to answer. So see here, let us quickly complete this one-liners so that you will get a clarity on what Suman sir is teaching. Till 40 minutes what I am teaching, you will get a clarity. Okay, right. So the most common type of peptic ulcer. Can you people tell me what is the most common type of peptic ulcer? I am asking most common type, whether it is duodenal or gastric. Excellent. Right, it is duodenal ulcer. And next, what is the most common site for duodenal ulcer? Now tell me what is the most common site. Now you can answer as D1. Okay. And most common presentation of duodenal ulcer. Quickly tell me what is the most common presentation of duodenal ulcer. Most common presentation of duodenal ulcer. Excellent. Bleeding. Right. And now gastric ulcer ka classification. What is the gastric uh, uh, ulcer ka classification which is which I told you. There is a special classification. What is the name of that? Excellent Bhavani Maharaja. It is modified Johnson uh, classification. Modified Johnson classification. Right. And. Now quickly tell me anterior duodenal ulcer complication. I told you there are two types anterior duodenal ulcers and posterior duodenal ulcers. Yes, anterior duodenal walls they will perforate causing perforation peritonitis. Perforation peritonitis. Very very important and this is the one which I got when I was writing my exam. Okay, so there they have asked this beautiful x-ray was given and how do you identify perforation peritonitis on an x-ray? Very, very important. Let me tell you, right? So see here, how do you uh, identify the uh, this one? Um, perforation peritonitis, they'll give you an x-ray like this and they'll, uh, okay. When you see, can you see this dark area under the right side of the uh, right side diaphragm? This is air. Air getting collected under the right side hemidiaphragm. Okay. Air under right hemidiaphragm. So this is a very classical sign for your immediately you can close your eyes and say that this patient has got perforation peritonitis, immediate laparotomy in the and otherwise there is increased risk of mortality. Clear? Okay. Right. So this area which I have highlighted that is the air getting collected under the right side of the hemisphere. So sir, why are you telling uh, only right side? What about left side? See left side we have stomach here. Right. And usually in stomach in the fundus you will have air bubbles that fundic air bubbles. Even if you take your x-ray and my x-ray you will have the air bubbles. Okay. So that is fundic air bubble. That is normal. Clear. Okay. Right. So this is the air under diaphragm. Can you see? This is the air under diaphragm. Okay. Air under diaphragm. Uh, this is what you are going to see in case of perforation peritonitis this is what you are going to see in case of perforation peritonitis s bhavani maharaja you are 100% right left side fundic bubbles are normal but right side it is abnormal okay so usually on left side you you and me everyone will have air bubbles on x-rays but right side no right 
okay now so duodenal ulcers tell me duodenal ulcers quickly tell me duodenal ulcers are due to what is the main cause it is due to increase in gastric acid okay and gastric ulcers what is what is going to happen there will be decrease or normal gastric acid right and remember except gastric ulcers all types of gastric ulcers except type 2 and type 3 where there will be increase in gastric acid type 2 and type 3 where there will be increase in gastric acid clear okay now the most common presentation of gastric ulcers can you quickly tell me the most common presentation of gastric ulcers excellent bhavani maharaja it is perforation right most common type of gastric ulcers i told you there are five types of gastric ulcer which is the most common type type one okay and if ulcers is due to increase in gastric acid production then how are you going to manage i am going to manage by ppi and i go, i can also do something called vagotomy right now they are asking you the source of bleed can you tell me the source of bleed in both duodenal ulcer and gastric ulcer duodenal ulcer and gastric ulcer Quickly tell me what is the source of bleed in duodenal ulcer and gastric ulcer. Duodenal ulcer, remember, the source of bleed is GDA, gastroduodenal artery. Very, very important. And gastric ulcers, the source of bleed from gastric ulcers, it is LGA, that is left ga gastric artery. Clear? Right. Right. Now, I think you should be clear. And now let us see how are the patients are going to present. Because the most common type of